Hi, and welcome to the brief document walkthrough from RTO Materials. The walkthrough is designed to show you the documents included with each unit when purchased through RTO Materials. Firstly, you have the assessment matrix. This is the mapping document that shows which parts of the named documents apply to the individual performance criteria. The areas are mapped in the matrix are learner workbook activities, observations, and this includes demonstrations and simulated tasks, summative assessments, and any other additional evidence that may be supplied by the student, subject to validation by the assessor. Moving on, you have the Assessor Workbook. This document is designed for the sole use of the Assessor. It is a guide and provides all the necessary information to complete the assessment of their student. It gives them instructions on tasks to be completed prior to the assessment taking place, information on how to assess the student, deciding on competency and steps to take after the assessment is complete. This document also provides a list of observations and evidence that is required. Checklists are provided to coincide with all workbook activities and summative assessments to make it easier to keep track of each student. For students that require observation, this will provide a specific set of skills which the assessor or any other qualified person must observe from the learner. It also has a supplementary oral questioning section, which may be used by the assessor if further oral questions are required to determine the competency of the student. Please note, an observation may be required for each student by the assessor if the tasks are not everyday actions, a simulated environment or demonstration can be set up and is acceptable. Next is the learner evidence. This is not a necessity for completion of the unit, but can be used by the student as a guide to monitor their own progress as they work through the unit. This document lists all the elements and performance criteria. It provides space for a student to make reference notes, document their performance evidence, and to help keep them focused on the unit. To complement the learner evidence document is the learner guide. This is to be used as an information source by the trainer delivering the course and should also be given to the students as a learning tool to use during their lessons. The learner guide links with the learner workbook as it provides the information given during lessons. The way it has been designed is to help the student to further their knowledge and to complete the activities in the learner workbook. As I was just discussing the learner guide, I referred to the learner workbook. This is the next document I will discuss. Each student should be given a learner workbook, which will hold a number of activities, both formative and summative. All the activities need to be completed in conjunction with the learner guide in the appropriate sessions, which correspond with the lesson plans. I will discuss these shortly. The formative activities are assigned to specific sections of the learner guide and should be completed in order. The summative assessments will need to be completed once the learner guide has been finished. The learner guide along with the trainer and assessor should provide further information and support to help the student with the activities. The trainer assessor should also refer to the assessor's workbook to obtain information on assessment observation demonstrations and activity answers. The learner workbook includes a workplace documentation section, which may be used by the student to record any workplace documents that have been submitted as evidence or to support activity answers. Also included with each unit is a PowerPoint presentation. These presentations are designed to be used by the trainer in conjunction with the learning guide content. This will help deliver the required knowledge to a student. They are not designed as a standalone learning resource. It will help you highlight the key areas of the learning content and present opportunities for interaction through student discussions. 
The last document that complements each unit is the session plan. This is to be used by the trainer to help plan the delivery of the learning content and assessments to the student. It outlines the location, date, time and details of the sessions and any special requirements that need to be considered prior to delivery of the content. If you require any more information, please contact RTO Materials and thank you for your time.